You know, I think each and every one of us that looks for signs. If I look outside and everybody's wearing a coat, it's probably cold. If they're wearing t-shirts, it's probably warm, obvious. If I look at, if I hurt myself and there's a scab, then there's a sign that the wound is healing. If it begins to turn red, then there's a sign that maybe it's not healing and I have to do something about it. We all see signs and some of them are obvious. But people in the day's gospel are looking for a sign that's right in front of them and they don't see it. They've heard Jesus' teaching, they've seen what he has done, and they don't get it. But they don't want to get it. There's a difference between not getting it and not wanting to get it. And that's what he condemns. Here we have something great before you, and you don't want to pay attention to it. I could ignore the signs and go out without a jacket on when it's cold, but that's my problem, and I suffer the consequences. But I think one of the things about faith is that sometimes we have to see the signs in our heart and realize that God is leading us in ways. You know, there's not going to be a clash of, of, of a, a clash of clap of thunder or, or, or a strike of lightning. Most of the time, the signs are very subtle. And we are called to listen for those signs and heed them. And that's what Jesus is frustrated about. It's obvious, but they don't get it. But more so, they don't want to get it. Let us pray that people will get it and see the signs of the times and follow in their hearts what is right and do what Jesus is calling us to do. Thank you for joining us for this celebration of the Mass. This virtual Mass is broadcast to hundreds of people every day of the week. You know, over 100 years ago, the very first celebrations of the Mass took place on the second floor of the Glenview Public House. It's been inconceivable that 100 years later, we would be reaching so many people all over the world through this technology. If you'd like to support the ongoing broadcasts of OLPH's Masses, please go to our website, go to Give Central, and you'd be able to support the ongoing outreach of this virtual ministry. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us in prayer. God bless.